I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a great looking video suitable for YouTube and other places from just still photographs using a free program from Microsoft. And the program we're going to use is Photo Story 3 for Windows. It's really easy to use. I'm going to walk you through the whole process right now. First thing you want to do is start Photo Story, and this will be the screen you see, and then select Begin a New Story, and then click Next. And the, the second screen you're going to see is where you import and arrange your pictures. So we're going to import pictures, and you can use anything, any type of picture format. Now, I have a folder of pictures, and I'm just going to select them all. And then I click OK. And notice how quickly it loaded all those photos into my timeline. Now I see some things here that I probably don't want to include in my timeline, so I'll, I'll select those and just press the delete button to remove those. And I can go through my timeline. Let's go back to the front of the timeline here. And you see I've got some photos here that I may not want to use. And maybe I want to start the uh, production with this photo. So I would drag it right there. And if I don't want that one, I can delete that. And if I want to move this photo up here, I can. Basically, you can move your photos around so that they tell the story that you want to tell. And once you have all the photos in, you're going to select Next. And on the next page, you're going to add a title. And you're, you have the ability to add a graphic or text to all the photos out there. For example, if on this first one here, if we wanted to say, My Photo Story Video, that would be the title of our video. We can You can center them. You can uh, change the fonts. We'll change the font on this to something that's a little bit larger. And you notice there's your title right there. You can change the positioning of that title up or down or centered or to the left or to the center, to the right, whatever you want. You can do that for every element, for every photo that you choose. So if you want to put a text or a message on any photo, you can just by clicking that photo and adding a text. Now once you've added all the titles that you want, you click Next. And you notice that on this screen you can narrate your pictures. And what that means is if you have a microphone connected to your computer, you can click this button right here and do a narrative of the photo on the screen. And as long as your voice is speaking, this photo will show on the screen. You can also change the motion. Now by default, Photo Story will automatically do zoom and pan transitions with all your photos. But if you want to change the motion, for example, let's go to this photo here. If we want to change the motion that Photo Story is going to do for us, we click the Customize Motion button. We select a start position. Suppose we want to start with a close-up of this base. And we want